Good evening once again everyone, my name is Mr. Smackhead and tonight we're going to be doing part 12 of the Adventures of Alundra Let's Play. Now, uh, on the last video I said we would be going to the d Desert of Despair. That's not technically false, but we're not going to be able to get through this way. So we're going to have to go through, we're going to have to take an alternate route, an alternate route, however you pronounce that goddamn word. And this means going through the Desert of Despair. Oh, wait a minute, to get to the Desert of I got my words wrong! Now, if, I, if we want to get to the Desert of Despair, we're going to have to go through the Cliffs of Madness, as this lovely sign sort of hints towards us. I know this, this sign also says, the Inova Village is over that way, as if you needed any hint towards this. Now then, yeah, let's just leap down the stairs, because it is no thing, and find that we are in a slightly windswept location, which makes sense considering, well, we were in a place that was also being swept by a blinding desert. It's kind of it's kind of kind of an interesting thing that this um, this land that has amongst many other things a livable town, a lake, a forest which is infested by monkeys, a giant or a fo yeah forest that's next to a giant tree infested by monkeys, and possibly more. There's also a desert with a per with a persistent sandstorm. I'm not even going to question the logistics of that. This this place is like one of those. Um, uh, super, not super biomes. Uh, this 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 place is just crazy. Anyway, we find one of them, one of those things, but uh, it's not useful at the moment. Here we have Lurvy Smith Shack. I pronounced that weirdly, but uh, yes, here is the other shop that uh, had been mentioned in the previous video. We can buy well, surprisingly enough, we can buy stuff from here. But uh, more importantly, there is new armor here for us. We're gonna be able to buy that once Lurvy stopped talking. And can you tell what this guy's accent's meant to be? Because I certainly can't. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what the uh, what was it? Was it the um, uh, what what's it called? The localization team thought of this guy. Like, did they think he was some sort of just what was it? Did he think he was? Did they think he was? Um, God damn it! I've had a bit of a brain fart again. A bit of a farmer type dude. I don't know. This this is this really dates it as well. It's just like, oh hey, here here's a reference. Here's a reference. Let me look at it. Let me point it out. And uh, and also retro. Let's just this game was slightly ahead of its time, and yet it still managed to date itself. It's brilliant. And we've managed. I just feel as I said nifty. No, uh, we managed to get some new armor. Don't I don't remember the exact damage reduction it gives, but it gives damage reduction as we will sh as we will see in a few seconds. I'm really bad with you know. I'm really bad with those shoulder buttons. I always forget that L2 and R2 are the pause buttons, and L1 and R1 are the button is the button that lets you swap between usable and key items. But enough of that, silliness. Let's go back up the hills. Oh no, wait. God damn it! I forgot about this. We're going to be exploring. The, we're going to be exploring the well here. There's, as you probably spotted there very quickly, there's a prickly bush here. So we're going to be coming back here at some point. I've got here a strength elixir. This is a full heal, as I will very slowly reveal to you through power of text. Now, uh, we managed to get one, a spare one of those. Oh, spare one? Technically, this is the first one we've seen outside of Lovie's shop. This is the first one. May as well have it for when th when shit hits the fan real bad. I like how there's a well that just has a little side compartment if you're willing to break your legs to get to it. That's brilliant. Now, then. <coughs> it's time to actually try and access the Desert of Despair. And to do that, we're going to need to climb these Cliffs of Madness. Can you tell why they're called the Cliffs of Madness? Because if you can't, you're, you're a strange person. Now, they, these are basically a lovely little platforming challenge for anyone who wanted to try and figure out how to get how to get around in the game. It's a little, it's a little confusing for first-timers, but uh, then you remember, oh, right, yeah, I can jump really well. And there's drug chest there, as you can tell. Gonna be able to get to those, and there's the entrance to the Desert of Despair, but we can't get to it yet because we've taken the wrong path. We have gone along a dead end, but we have managed to get some more loot. A magic elixir. If you can tell what that does, or if you can't tell what that does, I'm disappointed in you. Now, uh, we've got a, what was it? There was a wonder essence in here, so I'm going to leave it for now because as much as much fun as it is having like two of the damn things, it it would be you know too much. We would be over encumbered and we wouldn't be able to run. No, that's a lie. Uh, I feel like I should have bought a drink again. Uh, in order to actually get a, get to the entrance, we actually do have to drop down a couple of times. Got a little herb in here, not very useful to me right now because we're already full. 
But uh, just go up north here, up north here a little, and then go west like. And uh, we'll be able to get all those treasure chests. Here's a little amusing thing as well. Those rocks, you can't jump over them. That rock, you can jump over it. This game, as per usual, makes no sense. With, you know, with uh, or it's inconsistent as per usual. It's very, very irritating. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm breathing, I'm breathing in my own breath again. That's nasty. Ugh. Right. As you can tell, signed with Despair Desert. I've been pronouncing it the Desert of Despair the entire time, but it's the bloody Despair Desert. Huh. <sighs> anyway, it's not really that difficult to access from here. It's just, you know, running up a bunch of stairs. Not much to say here other than, well, I hope you like the view. It's sort of curious. you got to wonder how exactly this would work in a geographical sense. Geographical sense? Geological sense? I don't know. you got to wonder how that would actually be laid out properly, because... Otherwise, this because this makes it really does make no sense. Anyway, here we are in the desert of despair, and yes, because we're in sand, we are going to be hopping all over the damn shop. It's going to be an irritating five or six minutes. All right, we amusingly enough, we got a little skeleton here. We got a little skeleton. We got a skeleton here who gives us a hint as to what we're meant to do next because. We're not going to be able to access the, um, I think it's the ancient shrine until we're able to get, you know, this, uh, what was it? We're until we're able to get the item described in that guy's little post-it note. It's kind of amazing that the writing on that thing held for so for long enough that it was still readable even after the guy has been has died and picked clean, been picked clean by whatever the hell forces there are out here. Uh, unfortunately, we still can't run properly, so we're gonna have to just keep on hopping along. Okay, I'm a fucking demented little buggy of it. Uh, no. And those worms are irritating because they like to dip. They, they like to dip underground every so often. They take two hits to kill the flail, which is a bit of an irritant. So, uh, and because you hit, if you hit them, they will immediately dive back down under again. It is a genuine annoyance, as opposed to a strange annoyance. Uh, Got treasure chests dotted around everywhere, and unsurprisingly, there are places. There are places here that don't have what was it? That don't have sand on them. It's kind of an interesting sight because it really raises the question of how deep is the sand that we can that we can um, what was it? How deep is the sand that uh, it somehow stays persistent? <laughs> stays persistent. Oh, and another thing. This uh, skeleton is a bit of an outlier. It's how is the, uh, this? How is the land, or how is the sand there, so deep that we're having trouble walking along on it? We've got another gill of talking, of course. Um, but there's still just there's still just enough. What was it? Uh, Paneling, flooring, whatever you want to call it. The, you know the ruins are. The, uh, th this place used to be lived in, but it got it must have been ruined at some point. I don't think there's any history behind it in the game. Uh, got some took some really stupid damage here, because I am a genius person, man. But, um, again, this place really, now that I think about it, is kind of a sore thumb. Like, there's shifting sands, there's, there's obvious ruins, and then there's obvious places where the sand has not yet, has refused to settle. This gets even more confusing when we get one of the items later on in oh, this video, actually. But, um, yeah. Thankfully, the gaps here are, technically speaking, I didn't need to do that. The gaps here are short, uh, that gap is short enough though I can hop along, hop over it, as you tell. This one, however, no. But anyway, this place is one giant oddity, purely because, well, for one thing, it's, uh, what was it, it's a persistent sandstorm in what is otherwise a lovely rural countryside. It's genuinely confusing. But, um, what was I, what was I saying? Yeah, even that, even that little, even those platforms bear, um, uh, what was it, Br bring quite a bit of confusion to me, because it's like, it, it makes no sense when you, once, it, one, like I said, once we find the one item in this area, you will see just how little sense it makes, because it is just confusing. Now, I'm just wondering, what exactly was the building here that it left these sorts of ruins? Now, you could sort of hop along them, there's still like pan- You could actually see some detail on the floor in there. It wasn't just like- It wasn't just sheet rock that was left there. It was actually somewhat put together. Uh, I, I, I don't know. This game- 
it, this game has always been pretty good, pretty fun to play. But on closer inspection, you really do sort of start to see the little cracks between uh, the. You, st you start to see the little fractures in the fourth. I want to say the fourth wall. Uh, you start to see fractures in this game's logic. Anyway, we have a sand cape. Can you tell what that does? Because if you can, you're pretty smart. It lets us dive under the sand, which is why this in this entire desert of dis it really is what this desert does make me despair but not for the reasons that you might think uh, we can press x or x and x or square to push ourselves along faster through the sand and it does come in useful in some cases but otherwise it's just, it's just basically a means of getting somewhere faster now then consider you can dive under the sand and the sand somehow doesn't settle in some places. What the fuck is going on in this entire location? Like, maybe maybe I shouldn't be putting it to such scrutiny, but... There's a part of me that says, yes, put it to scrutiny. You must do this to keep the people entertained. I'm on the bloody bastard, I swear. Oh, we got more herbs here, but, uh, we're already full. So, good thing we got health missing, so we can actually make use of it. Free here, man. Goddamn. <coughs> Alright. Well, what was it? About two or three minutes left? So, let's get things going quickly. Now, this bit confused me. I, I only discovered this recently. Apparently, you can't stand on... These rocks have a sand, the sand texture, but you can't... Or they have the sand flooring descriptor, whatever you want to call it. You know, it acts like yes, we're walking on sand. But you can't actually... You, like it makes sense that you can't dive into it. That would have been a that would have been a hilarious glitch. But uh, no, it's just a place where you can't stand up properly. It is an irritant. And I don't know why I wanted to kill that dude. Maybe I was just being vindictive. But anyway, yeah. Uh, this place is where we're gonna go next. But first off, I just want to explore the last bit to the south here. You just see the cliffs of Manus technically off in the distance there or down to the south. We can't really see them, but, uh, well, it's a thing. I guess I know why it's called the Cliffs of Madness, because it makes no goddamn sense, and trying to make sense of it drives you mad! It's crazy. But, a uh, hey, hey, anyway, re ignore that. We're going to be sucked into a sand spout, whatever the hell these things are called. We're going to be teleported to the next area of the game, where we're going to be actually be able to go to the ancient temple. Or at least get to the path that takes us to the ancient temple. Now, remember that, uh, what was it, that dream that Sybil had earlier, in the last video? This is what she meant. We've got to follow the shifting sands. We've got to go in the correct direction, otherwise we get teleported back into the same room. I forgot to show that, because I am a ding-dong. Now then, as you can see here, there was it, the wind does affect us. Yeah, I, w there was no real reason to show it off in the first screen, because, well, we didn't need to jump, we had to dive. And here we have the last the last screen before we can get to the teleporter. Now then, the next video will cover the uh, ancient the ancient temple, and it will be quite long in the tooth, so I bring some snacks if I were you. Now then, just get to the end here. Uh, my, as again, my name is Lunasis Mechanigan, and I thank you all for watching, and see you next time.